project-based learning is an important component to the teaching and learning. A project is an in-depth investigation or study of a topic or theme that is worthy of studying and valuable to learners. It is interdisciplinary, collaborative, and student-driven. Our investigations using primary and secondary resources provides opportunities for students to learn how to learn, how to ask questions, how to do research, how to evaluate the information and analyze it, and then to synthesize their research and put it into another form and to then teach it as an expert to an audience. We're learning um, through meaningful investigations that are guided by the children. Hands-on experiences that encourage children to use their creativity, to collaborate, and to investigate things of interest to them. It may look a little bit different, but they're more prepared for our kindergarten than kids who haven't had those foundation experiences. They're very used to taking risks, trying new things. Um, if something's hard for them, then they're not scared to go and practice or go ask for help. It takes a lot of work um, that we love to get to know each child individually. Um, and we know what their interests are and we kind of try and build on those interests to work on the specific skills that they're going to need to be successful in kindergarten. I love being a researcher along with my students. They can come to me to help them, but I want to help them come up with their own answers on their, on their own. I want to help them grow. I want to help them love learning. Um, because at this age, really, we're teaching them to love learning. This is the stem and these are the roots and this is the thing that holds on the roots. There's tiny tubes inside of this stem. A bring all the water to all the parts and the leaves make the food. We decided to make a one-story house and then I kept on falling so we decided to make a three-story house. Hello. And, but it kept on falling so we had to make a things inside that would make it stay up. We're building our city in Minecraft um, after we've learned like from Mesopotamia. This is like our blueprint of our Sumerian city state and you can see the structures and then we have the wall and the moat. When you first come in from the ziggurat, there's this hallway that you open the doors to. It's going to have torches so um, if it's nighttime then you can see. I'm working on the wall, and the wall is built inside the moat and the farmland. Because it makes it more interesting. It makes you feel like, oh, I'm not actually doing work, I'm doing something fun. Whoa! Yes. Do you want to try? Sure. See, see if we make it sink, though. See if it goes all the way down. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, 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 that's pretty good. ROV goes in dangerous places such as trenches and crevices and caves. There's three teams. The control box worked on the black box you see there. The design team worked on the actual design of the PVC and how the motors were going to attach. And the motor team attached the PVC to the motors. We had to make it go down to the bottom and do complete these challenges. They were supposed to simulate real life problems. For example, how to clean up after a coral reef. I've never ever built anything like this before and it was a really cool experience and to be able to just do it and not have to take like years and years of like college courses, it was just like get to do it in a class, so it was really cool. This project also focused a lot on teamwork because if one part didn't cooperate with the other part, it would have never worked out. Oh, oh, you got it! Okay, so you're going to uh, wrap it around here twice. One, two. Okay, now grab that. Okay, now just go perfect, just like that. There are so many opportunities at Shortcrest. One of my favorite is the Center for Medical Sciences. I've shadowed four surgeries and it's really helped me be more.